hello, hello, my loves. It is your girl, Gabrielle Reyes. And we are back in the kitchen today with a rainbow-tastic recipe. As you can tell, we are gonna be making some sweet and spicy tomato spring rolls with a little tomato tuna situation that I got going and glowing. So I'm really excited for this recipe. It's got everything you love about Thai food wrapped up in some rice paper. Let's get into it. First step of this radical recipe is to marinate our tomatoes. As you can see, I've chopped up my tomatoes pretty thin, and this is gonna be our tuna. And you'll see, the flavor, the texture, everything is gonna happen in that marinade. For the magical marinade, all you need is a few simple ingredients. Sesame seed oil, liquid aminos, rice vinegar, and nori flakes, or seaweed. And then let those tomatoes soak in there for about 30 minutes. Tomato. We gotta have that fishy, fierce flavor, so let's add in some nori flakes. Give it a good mix and let everything soak in all of that sassy seasoning. The key to a perfect spring roll is all about that dip. So for this recipe, we're gonna be making a spicy and sweet peanut dip. If you can't use peanut butter, you can also use sunflower seed butter or even cashew butter. The first ingredient I'm gonna add into this sauce is peanut butter. Now you have to start off with a creamy nut butter because this is really what makes it all so dynamic. Next, I'm gonna add in some more sesame seed oil and garlic. Rice vinegar mixed with liquid aminos and maple syrup. Let's add it in. Now we're gonna add in some sriracha sauce. I'm gonna be using yellow bird because it's incredibly fresh and we're gonna pop it into our blender. Make it spicy. It's time to mix it together. Okay, I've blended up my sauce and I'm gonna set it aside. That way we can work on our spring rolls. What I love about rice noodles is that it only takes about five minutes to cook them up. All you need is some hot water, pop it in there, and then they're cooked. You're probably wondering, how do I turn this into a spring roll? Well, all you need is some hot water, dip it in there, and then they're gonna loosen up so you can fill it with all of those vibrant vegetables. Just like that. I'm gonna grab a little bit of everything. The bell peppers, the carrots, the cucumber, my mango, all of it is going in the spring roll. And now for our tomato tuna. And then I always like to add in some kind of fresh herb. Today I'm gonna be using Thai basil. Double wrap mine so that all the goodies stay inside. I knew that would make it work. Look at that. Look at that perfect little spring roll. She is so cute. Now all we have to do is add in our little sauce right there and then garnish it with some everything bagel seasoning and chives. Oh yes. Everything comes together with a little bit of garnish, especially when you add in that freshness. And what I love about this recipe, it actually surprisingly has a ton of protein in it. From all of that creamy sauce right there, you get everything you need. The vitamins, the minerals, the nutrients, the protein, the iron, and that fiber, honey. Wow, these rainbow tuna tomato spring rolls are almost, almost too good to eat, but that's not gonna stop me from dunking it in that peanut sauce and taking a big bite. Oh. When you make this radical recipe, be sure to take a photo or a video and tag Taste Made. That way we can all see what colorful creation you cooked up. 